any human will have power beyond anything we have ever known. If need be, our food will be light and sound. We'll be able to levitate. We'll live for up to 5,000 years. And we'll be telepathic. When this kicks in, it will be quick. The time is near. It's time for you to join the stars. It's time for the bad uh, to leave and the good in humanity to come out. It's time to rise. Hey guys, uh, Prodomitius Gauntlet here. Uh, I thought I'd let you know what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to make veggie chili, which I've done before, but I'm going to go over the uh, components and uh, some of what I learned in making the chili. It tastes really good. It's definitely better than uh, Hormel. And uh, I'm just going to go one step at a time. First step is to uh, fry up the meat. And here's the, I call it fake meat that I use. It's called Morning Stall. I grill it fine. I do it with the whole package, four patties. So I'll grill it up, and that'll be my first component. Okay? Okay, guys, uh, this is the brand of chili seasoning I use. I'll just put one packet in there. I also use uh, vegetable, a teaspoon of vegetable oil. Uh, I don't put a teaspoon of cumin. That's a little too much cumin. I do have a little bit of cumin in here. And uh, one can, one eight ounce can of tomato sauce. That's what I do for the um, for the veggies to get the veggies and the fruits uh, started. In addition to that, we also have some of this vegetable stock, which comes out very nice. Some of the other components are uh, four jalapenos, or these are serrano peppers actually, and. Uh, the reality is supposed to be one big onion, but I got two small onions. Uh, I'm going to put one and a half green peppers and some other stuff. I'll get some other components. Oh, it wasn't on. Okay. A uh, can of uh, corn. I have an extra half a can I'm just going to throw in there. Kidney beans, black beans. Into beans and some uh, cloves of garlic. I, I put about three cloves of garlic and uh, let's see, some uh, mushrooms, about a quarter cup of mushrooms, diced. And that's it. I should come up with a better listing. This is chicken scratch there. <laughs> but uh, let's see. It's coming along fine. Other components or, or ingredients, I should say, ingredients are uh, tomato sauce, a little can of tomato sauce, about eight ounces. Uh, so one carrot, basically, you just gotta take the carrot and not dice it. I don't dice it. I um, use this peeler on it. on it and I'll peel it into the into the pot and of course four cloves or is it three cloves I think it's three cloves three garlic cloves dice these have to be diced and uh, I found uh, half of an onion so I got rid of the small onion and have a like a medium and a, a portion and uh, had an extra half of uh, green pepper. And I think that's about it. I'm not going to put mushrooms in it this time. I thought I had mushrooms, but I don't. So I won't put those in. And that's it. Uh, I'll give a, a detailed uh, listing in the uh, comment section. Um, and I'll start dicing and putting the stuff in there, and I'll take pictures as we go. There we go. I burnt the fake meat a little bit. <laughs> I'm just going to start slicing it down. 
and chopping it. And this will go in with the canned vegetables because it doesn't have to be in there since the beginning. It just has to be there to soften up a little bit with the canned vegetables because the canned vegetables are already cooked so you don't have to put the canned vegetables in there since the beginning. But anything that's not canned, like all this raw stuff here, that has to go in first so it can start getting nice and soft. And I'm just chopping it up. Good old manual way. Now save it. I have this big bowl. It's for mixing. But uh, I'll put it in there as a component. All, all the, uh, I'm sorry, all the ingredients go in here. mince this so I just chop it as much as I can this uh, uh, clover or this uh, garlic cloves just get it small as you can it's going to soften up anyway alright make sure to take all the seeds out of your serrano peppers I use four peppers take them out and chop the peppers real good <coughs> yeah, you gotta take all those seeds out and wash them real good and then chop it up and, send, and put it in the pot. I already got some other stuff in the pot. Oh, yeah, that's right, just that. <laughs> so it's gonna take a while. Ah, chop your onions. I just do a regular chop. Well, that's a my chopped uh, green green pepper. I don't make it too fine, and I leave a good amount of meat on there. I don't make it too small. Sliced carrots. Sliced carrots using the peeler directly into the pot. That's pretty good so far. Normally I'd uh, dice and seed two tomatoes, but I got all these little tomatoes here, so I'm going to do six. And just be careful with them, because they're so small. And, uh, let's see what else we're going to do. Yeah, I'll put that in there right now. And I chop my tomatoes about this size. I don't make them too small. We're not dicing anything, we're just chopping. And those go into the pot. So far, so good. We got all the veggies here. Got the carrots, onions, the green peppers, the seeded tomatoes, the carrots, carrot slices, and the the, um, the cloves, the garlic cloves at the bottom. And this is ready to go. I'm just going to put the fluids in there. I'm going to put this. Uh, vegetable stock in there. I'm going to put the whole thing. Last time I only put part of it and then I had to add more. So I'm just going to put the whole thing in there. And this is uh, 32 ounces. And this is about a tablespoon of this, so I don't really measure. I just kind of eye it. A little bit of olive oil, virgin olive oil. And now I'll put my cumin in there. Cumin is just, I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit. I overdid it last time. And that's all I need, just a little bit. And, of course, the Texas chili packet. All right, there we go. And now the heat. Get that started. And we'll mix it up, cover it up, and this will this will take a while to get soft. Once this starts to get soft, 
uh, and I tell by getting one of the green peppers and squashing it with the with the spoon. If it squashes real easy, as far as I'm concerned, it's ready. And um, that's it. Uh, then you you throw in the other vegetables and the uh, fake meat and let it uh, cook until it's all nice and uh, not soupy but chili-like. All right. And there it is. Nice and uh, nice and ready to go. It's going to start heating up pretty soon. I keep it covered for a while and just uh, stir it occasionally. And while I'll, while this is cooking and getting softer, I'll go ahead and start preparing all the cans and put all the cans in that big bowl of mine. And of course, here's the meat that we grilled up earlier. And here are the cans we're going to put in. So leftover half can of corn. I'm going to put that in there. Oh, one thing I forgot to put in there was this uh, tomato sauce. Let me put that. at the bottom of the can. Yeah, I got another one of these. Pretty good. Let me mix it all up. There we go. That made it look a lot better. This is going to get thrown in the uh, compost pile in the back. So let me get this out of the way. And I will start emptying and draining the cans. Okay. <clears throat> the fake meat's at the bottom. And we got the corn and the black beans and the red beans and the pinto beans. and Everything's in this big bowl. And then when it's ready, I'll just dump it in here. And this is coming along just fine. Probably won't have to add any uh, fluids to it. It's already got plenty. And so I just got to be patient and wait. And that's it. Uh, and, uh, one other thing I forgot to mention is when you uh, you take the beans out of the can, they have a lot of that juice with them. Make sure you strain it in a strainer. That's what I did as I strained all the beans and got all that juice out of there and, you know, dried it out as much as I could so that it's just pure bean. You don't want anything else that may have been in the cooking process where they came from. Just thought I'd mention that. Okay, I tested out the uh, onion and a piece of green pepper and it came out soft, so it, it already had been softened. So I went ahead and put the whole bowl of that other stuff in here, the, the fake meat, <laughs> the corn, the beans. And I'm just mushing it around. No need to add any more fluids. You've got plenty of fluids. I'm just kind of spreading it all around, mixing it real good, and it seems to be good. Just got to leave it in there for a little bit covered, and we'll let all this kind of play itself out here. And that's the vegan or the veggie chili that I like to make. 
still a little soupy, but uh, that's okay. I, I don't mind souping myself. And that's it. Cover it up. And I'll make some uh, lemon water to kind of wash it down. <laughs> All right, take it easy, guys. Thanks for hanging in there. <laughs> okay, it's finished. I'm about ready to go ahead and take a bowl. Nice and hot. Alrighty, there's the bowl. Look at that. Mmm. Still piping hot. you could have this. <laughs> mm. Now it is a bit too soupy. So next time I may add more tomato paste. Because I'm not going to leave like just a little bit of that vegetable stock left over. I'm going to dump the whole thing in there. So maybe I'd be better off putting a little bit more um, or another can of that tomato uh, paste or whatever, or tomato sauce. But it tastes great to me. I mean, I like it the way it is, actually. There's plenty of greens in there. It's got that fake meat in there that I burned. <laughs> so this is a good, al healthy alternative. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, that's it. Have a good one, guys. Take care now.